Well, good morning. Good morning. It's a great day. God has been good to me because Jesus is Lord. Thank God. The Word works, and I learned how to work it. I've been talking for the last few days now about uh, going boldly into the throne room, the throne room of grace, going boldly in there that you may obtain. You don't just sit around and pray. Now, there's six or seven different types of prayer. I'll get on all of those. But you don't just sit around and pray and just kind of hope. You go in boldly so that you may get what you want when you go in there. Now, there's no way in the world that we can talk about uh, prayer, power of prayer, receiving from God, without going over here to Mark chapter 11, verse 24. So let me just read it to you out of my Bible. <clears throat> it says here, Therefore I say unto you, Jesus said this, What things, things, T-H-I-N-G-S, things, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Watch this. What things soever you desire. Somebody says, well, I desire three wives. Now, that's stupid. You can't hardly keep one happy. You sure don't need a bunch more. What things soever you desire, that's according to the Word, and almost everything you can imagine is in the Word. What things soever you desire when you pray. Now, I believe that I receive today when I pray. Now, I'm not sure what day it is. It's Sunday. But, you know, everybody started getting their uh, 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 stimulus packages. My daughter got hers. Uh, my son got his. A lot of other my family members got theirs. I didn't get mine. I don't know why. I've gone to that website and looked it up and kind of hard to understand. I don't know why, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm looking for it every day. I mean, after all, the uh, President of the United States and the Congress, uh, Senate, and the uh, House of Representatives approved it. And every one of us is supposed to get like $1,200 plus however much, how many children you have living in your home. And so everybody started getting theirs. Uh, I hadn't gotten mine yet. Boy, and I'm looking at my bank account every day. Where is it at? They said I was going to get it. When they said I was going to get it, I believed it. <laughs> Come on, preach, Frank. I don't have to be concerned about it. Now, somebody said, well, uh, did you do it? Yeah, all my paperwork was done properly. And, and I, I do get a Social Security check every month. Uh, because I'm over 70, okay? And and I'm in what they call that retired category. Somebody said, well, you're one of those that's drawing off the government. Oh, no, that's money that I paid in all the time, all my life. So when they said it, they said, I'm going to send that check to you, $1,200. Uh, one for me and one for Pat. And I've already told her, put that in the bank. We're going to do this with it. I told her, this is what I told her. I said, when that money comes, you put it in the bank, and leave it there for Christmas shopping because all of our bills are paid. We don't really need anything. Everything that we want and desire is already provided. So we'll just have some extra money. And I said, if we happen to run up on something that you see for one of the kids or the grandkids that you want to get, hey, you can get it. So I'm looking for it every day because they said. Now, Jesus said, what things soever you desire when you pray. Jesus said that. And because he said that, I'm believing that, and I'm expecting it to come to pass. Let me teach to you. You hear it thundering out there. You might can see it raining. They told us yesterday that there was a 100% chance of rain today. So why am I surprised? I'm not surprised. I got up. It was thundering and lightning. It's raining out there now. You can see it. It's thundering and lightning because they said, based on the information that they, that they had, that we were going to get rain today. Thank God we didn't get snow like a friend of mine in uh, Michigan, Roger Cook. They had snow last week. I'm just thankful we didn't have that. So watch this. God's the one that said Jesus himself said, if you have a red letter Bible, which I do, that's in red. Jesus said, what things soever you desire. Now watch. I got an old red Dodge pickup truck, okay? I got a, I got a white Hummer. That's the color of those cars I like. I could have gotten a yellow one. I could have gotten a black one. Uh, they make all of those different colors because they know different people have a little bit different taste or a little bit different desire. And so they let you choose the one that you want. Well, and I've already picked out the new one that I want, and it's white. But uh, I know where it is, and I know how much it is. All i got to do is believe in the money to get it. Now, God lets you choose. My God shall supply all of your need according to his riches, not according to your need, but he lets you be the one that decides what your need is and go to him and ask him and get it. What things? Soever you desire 
not what you just maybe wish for or hope for, whatever you desire, what things you desire when you pray. You believe that you received the answer to that prayer when you pray it. Now, you may not get it that instant, but it's not going to be long because today is the day of salvation and now is the appointed time. But let me pick this up and read it to you because there's a phrase here that some people have gotten the cart before the horse. <laughs> I can tell you a story about that. I might in a minute. And then it says, Therefore I say unto you what things soever you desire, when, right then, when you pray, believe that you receive them then, right then, when you pray, and ye shall have them. Now, watch this. You believe that you receive when you pray. You shall have them. Might be 30 minutes. Might be a minute. Might be an hour. Now, if you're believing God for healing, you got to have it right now. You, you can't wait three months to get your healing if you got a serious situation, but you believe that you receive when you pray. And then you shall have it. Didn't say you might have it. Just like yesterday, you know, I checked the, not all the news things, uh, we're blessed we don't have a television, thank God for that. But I do look at the, my, 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 my telephone and look at certain news things to see what's going on. I like to, I got to be somewhat current. And so they said that it's going to rain all day tomorrow. It's going to rain. Uh, you know, my son's going to have a, a, a church service, and they've been having it uh, in the parking lot because of this problem they were having. And so I thought about it, and I said, you know, I don't think I'm going to drive out there and gather up out there in that parking lot if it's going to be pouring down rain and thundering and thundering and lightning. So I believed what they said. Well, I went to bed. It wasn't raining. I got up at like 1.30, 2 o'clock, um, you know, and it wasn't raining. But you know what? I knew it was going to because they said. Oh, golly. You, when you pray, man, you ought to just jump up and down and rejoice and believe that it's about to happen because God said. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to do a whole lot about it except praise God that it's going to happen. I am talking to you about receiving from God. Raining, lightning, thundering, money's coming, healing's coming. All my prayers are being answered in Jesus' name. So, until I'm with you tomorrow, saints, hey, I want you to remember all day long. Jesus is Lord. The Word works.